Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Monisi and I make videos on YouTube about a lot of different things. Um, I enjoy baking, cooking, and talking about my faith, books, um, decorating, crafts, lots of different things. So if those are things you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. It actually really helps my channel. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to share it with a friend or a family member, someone that you think would enjoy what we're doing today. So let's get into it. I have been in my hometown at my parents' house for about a little over a week now, and I'm gonna stay until Easter. And it is April 8th, and I, this is the first time I filmed since coming here. It's it's always so great to be with my mom and my family and just hang out. And we had a really fun Brazilian party. My mom has a community of Brazilian friends where she lives that always get together and have a fun party with lots of food and laughter and some wine and it was so fun and my heart really needed it so that was nice and I've just been spending time with my mom and lots of church functions and it's been nice to see everybody and my husband is actually coming for Easter hoping to come for Friday and then stay until Monday and then we head back to Canada so that's what's been going on lately. I wanted to share some recipes that I made the last few days. One that I made recently was a Tuscan chicken that I put in the crock pot and it was a hit with my family. So I thought I could share that. And um, I'm going to be making some chocolate babka bread. So this is my first time making it. And I hope it turns out well. So my mom told me that I have a lot of Brazilian subscribers that might be some of our friends. And she shared a few of my videos with family in Brazil. So if I have a lot of Brazilian subscribers, can you please comment and let me know if you're watching from Brazil or what country you're in? Um, I would really appreciate that. Obrigado que você está assistindo isso. Se você gostou de tudo que eu tô falando, que eu tô mostrando, por favor, escreve uma coisa. My mom and I went to Hobby Lobby and we found these adorable napkin rings and we decided to use them for the party that we were having for the Brazilians coming over. And I really wanted to show you guys the decorations that my mom set up. She really loves bunnies and I just thought that this was such a cute setup that she made. She's very creative and these fresh flowers we both picked together and she had the great idea of putting the flowers in a water pitcher and it just is so springy and fun so i wanted to show you guys that i counted the bunnies that she has in her house and they were definitely up to 30 bunnies so yeah she really loves buddy rabbits So on this day, I decided to make the crock pot Tuscan chicken. So I chopped some onions and then put the chicken in the crock pot, some salt, um, some pepper. And then emerald essence seasoning. It's one of the best seasonings out there. So if you happen to see it anywhere, grab it 
and definitely use some because it's so good. Then I added the onions and the garlic to the dish. Then you want to add sun-dried tomatoes in oil and do not drain it, add the oil in. I use both, uh, two cans of it, and then two cans of um, artichoke and artichoke hearts. These were the small ones, and then you just mix it in and you're good to go. You wanna leave it on low for four hours and then it looks delicious. And then you just shred it up and you can have it with some pasta, rice, or whatever you want. And then you add some spinach if you'd like and wait for it to wilt. My mom ended up putting katupiri cheese inside this bread and it was so good. So then this is what the chicken should look like after. And then if you want, you just add some table cream, which is delicious. This is a veggie pasta my mom found at Amish country. And I actually had my best friend over for dinner this day. So that's some mozzarella, some tomato with dressing. On this day, I decided to try to make the babka bread dough. So you have to make it and then put it in the fridge because there is a lot of butter in it and it's kind of like a brioche dough. And you have to leave it in for quite a while until it hardens up. And that's what it should feel like before you put it in. Then I chopped up some of this chocolate to make the babka bread filling. In the next clip, you'll hear my mom sing Jesus Loves Me. Please enjoy. So for the chocolate filling, you put chocolate, butter, and sugar, and you melt it. And then once it's all melted, you put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And this should be the consistency of the filling. Now after your dough has chilled for 8 to 10 hours, you should come out with a dough looking like this. So then you roll out your dough and add the chocolate filling and it needs to be chilled because if it's just that melted chocolate it's just going to be a mess so the chilling just really helps everything stay in place and makes it less messy. And then when you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll, roll it as if you're making cinnamon rolls and then cut it in the middle but leave the top part together and then you twist it like this. And there you go. So you're supposed to actually let it rise before putting the crumbs on top and I just was not thinking when I did this so you want to cover it and let it rise for about an hour, two hours, depending on how your bread looks. So this is my bread before I let it rise. And then here's my mama covering it up and letting it rise. And this is what it looked like right before I put it in the oven.
So sadly, this recipe did not turn out well. It was burnt and it was a little raw in the middle. So I was pretty bummed about that, but we think it was the dish that just did not go with the size of the loaf, unfortunately. I can't remember if I've introduced Picasso, but this is our African Grey Congo and he is a blast. He loves dancing and singing with us and here we go. <laughs> So he's super cuddly with me, but he's not like that with just anyone. So that makes me feel very special and I love him so much. So there's a Brazilian store that has a whole bunch of bread and my mom and I decided to get some homemade bread and then we could not forget the Bon Francais, which is homemade French bread. And they had um, traditional Brazilian Easter eggs. And this is actually a tradition in Brazil. Every Easter, you get a <laughs> chocolate Easter egg. And this one that I picked out is Beijinho flavored. And Beijinho means little kiss in Portuguese. And it's basically condensed milk with coconut. And that is the filling of this Easter egg that I'm about to try. And I was so excited to try this. So here I am showing you what it looks like. Sometimes my family in Brazil would send us um, Easter eggs for the holiday and it was just so special. And this one was so delicious. I didn't try this one because it is my dad's. <laughs> so these are corn chips and they're ham flavored and they're actually one of my favorite chips to eat and I was really excited to see that they had it at the Brazilian store. They also had coxinha, so here I am trying some. Then on this morning I helped my mom decorate for sunrise service at church. And here is my attempt at making Italian Easter bread. I found out recently that I am over 50% Italian and it makes sense, I always knew I had some Italian, but I was really excited to know how much Italian I have in me. <laughs> so I saw this recipe and I really wanted to make it. It's supposed to be like a brioche bread that you make for Easter. And it seemed, it's a long process, but honestly, I really enjoy making bread. And even if it doesn't turn out perfectly, it's kind of therapeutic for me to make bread and I just thought that this was also special because it's Italian. It's like a traditional Italian bread. So I decided to make that the day before Easter and you're supposed to roll it like this and then make like a wreath and it has a symbolism. So the wreath is supposed to be the crown of thorns that Jesus Christ wore when he was being crucified on the cross. And then you're supposed to put a colored egg in the middle of the wreath before you bake it. And that's supposed to be a stand-in for the empty tomb after Jesus rose into heaven. So I just thought that that was so special. And here are my eggs and you're supposed to put sprinkles on them before you bake it. I thought I would share this painting I made for my mom. It's a replica of September McGee's painting, but I really want to get back into painting and maybe make a video about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone had a happy Easter and I'll catch you in the next video.